everyone. Welcome to today's flow with me. And today I am bringing you guys a sweet flow, which is a whole body chakra balancing flow. And we will start by standing at the top of our mat. And I will be facing you guys at the beginning. Okay, so let's start with Tadasana Mountain Pose. Just um, by standing firmly uh, with four corners of our feet, firmly uh, pressing into the mat and just to have this grounding pose as our start. Take a deep breath in and out. Okay, so from here, let's inhale, raise our hands up to the sky and interlace our fingers and facing our palms to the sky and stretch out like somebody pulling us up to the sky while maintaining our uh, hips square and the belly sucked in. From center, inhale from center, exhale bend towards the right side. Feel this juicy, sweet stretch on the left side of our torso and inhale, come back to center, exhale to the other side. Can gaze on, gaze to the sky through our arm, armpit. Just make sure that you don't round over and the chest up to the sky. And exhale back to center. And let's do it to, uh, to both sides one more time. Inhale in the center, exhale to the right. Inhale center, exhale to the left. And release, come back to center. And from here, uh, let's just shake our body a bit, twist our body to the left, to the right, bend our elbows, relax our um, upper body, just twist from hips level, <laughs> just to open up our upper body and our hips and psoas muscles. Keep the breathing in and out, in and out. Five times each side, five times more each side. When you are ready, come back to the center and now let's do some pelvic, pelvic circles. Just like the old people in the park in the morning and just slowly Let's just do it by softly and gently with small circles and come into a bigger circles. Hips to the right, hips to the back, hips to the left, hip to front. Just like this, clockwise, three times. <laughs> the anti-clockwise, another five times. Circles are great mobility uh, practices of our hips and glutes and psoas muscles. All right, when you are ready, come back to center. And now let's do one round of classic sound salutation. Uh, stand at the front of your mat. Inhale, arms swing up. Exhale, bend over to your knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands on the side or on the shin bones. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, bring the left foot all the way back to the mat, knee down, and low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, come into plank pose and knees, chest, chin. Inhale, come into a cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the left foot in between the hands and right knee down, exhale, fold forward. That's one round, inhale, arms sweeping up to the sky, exhale, bring it to heart center. And let's do it on the other side, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, right foot back, low lunge. 
knee down here, like so, plank, and knees, chest, chin, inhale, cobra, nice, so, downward facing dog, inhale, right foot in between the arms, low lunge, so foot forward and let's stay in this forward bend a little longer just to uh, uh, straighten our hamstring and uh, lengthening our hamstring muscles and our glute muscles and relax our arms and shoulders then going here so you run foot press Slowly round your back, raise your soul up into standing pose. And from the standing pose, let's inhale, lift the right knee into the chest and bring the right foot into the inner left side. You can options here, you can either bring the right foot to a bit of a, a bit of above the knee or below the knee, just not on top of the kneecap, okay? And for those who can, just bring the sole um, of your right foot to the inner groin of your left leg. And let's form a tree pose here. Inhale, lift your arms up. Your gaze at a fixed point in front of you for better balance. Square the hips, belly sucked in. And breathe here, one round of breaths. In and out. And from here, take a big inhale. Exhale, lift the right knee and bring it all the way back. 45 degree angle of the right foot, pointing the toes outwards and come into a warrior one. Shoulders relax down your um, down your arms. Sorry, shoulder relaxed away from your ears and gaze forward. From here, inhale, exhale, come into warrior two. Relax your shoulders down on your back and bend your bend deeper at your right uh, left knee. Inhale here, exhale, straighten your left knee. Carefully straighten it and come into triangle pose. Your hand can be on your shin bone, left shin bone, on the floor or on your right uh, left toe or on your side, depending on your mobility. You have a couple of options here. And open the chest up. Right fingertips pointing to the sky. Gaze up or gaze forward or gaze down. Um, whatever your neck feels comfortable with. And stay here for one full round of breaths. When you are ready, take an inhale, exhale all the way. Bring it to reverse triangle pose. Feel the stretch on the left side of the torso, side, side torso. This juicy stretch. Chest open up. And from here, listen carefully, uh, take an inhale, bend the left knee, and windshield your body all the way to front of your mat. Bend both knees and come into a chair pose. Belly button sucked into your uh, belly and square your feet and uh, tuck your tailbone, lengthening your, lengthening your lower back. Don't contract it. Stay here for one full round of breaths. Exhale, come back to mountain pose. And now let's do it on the other side. Inhale, bring the left knee into the chest and use your hand to assist the foot to bring it into the inner groin of your right leg. Gaze forward at a fixed point for stability. From here, make sure your left knee uh, flare out to the side. From here, sweep the arms up, inhale, 
I stay here for two rounds of rest. Focus. Balance. Take an inhale. Exhale. Bring the knee into the chest and bring it all the way back to the mat and come into a warrior walk pose on the right knee. Stay here. Exhale. Warrior two. Bend deeper at your right knee. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Stay here. Slowly exhale. Straighten your right leg and come into a triangle pose. Open the chest up to the sky. Uh, relax the right shoulder down towards the mat, away from your ear. Don't uh, strain your neck so mu too much. You can gaze down for better ne neck comfortability. And from here, take an inhale, exhale, all the way back to reverse warrior. Feel the juicy stretch on the right side torso. Stay here for one full round of breaths and let's do it like other side, bend the right knee and bring the torso all the way to front of our mat into the chair. Lengthen the tailbone to the ground and lengthen the lower back. And from here, let's bring ourselves in the chest into our sides into a forward fold. Stay in this forward fold for two rounds of breaths just to connect with our body and rest from the previous poses. And from here, slowly walk our feet to the back side of our mat and come into a downward facing dog. Stay in this downward facing dog to connect to rest to bring our breath back to settle heels up uh, sorry hips up heels down one full round of breaths and from here let's ripple forward round our back ripple forward into a plank pose and from here, let's bring our hips down too close to our wrists and come into this upward facing dog or cobra. Knees can be up for upward facing or knees down for cobra. And let's stay here for three rounds of rest. Just open the chest, bring the shoulders backwards, pinch the shoulder blades muscles into each other gaze up and slowly bring the body down to the mat and let's do three rounds of repose of our upper body on this gentle back, back, back bend inhale lift your body up assisting with your hand pressing down to the mat exhale repose your body down just one round Another two rounds, inhale and exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. And from here, gently rest your forehead on the ground. Bring your hands, both hands, to the side of your body, palms facing down. And from here, slowly. On your inhale, lift your upper body up together with your head and shoulders and your arms. Inhale here, exhale here. And if you can, you can also lift both of your knees and feet off the floor into locust pose. Stay here for three rounds of rest. Feel this back bend ah, that is activating your back muscles. Gently bring yourself down. You can rest on one side of your cheek. 
take a round of breaths to relax. And now, let's, um, you can either follow the previous uh, locust pose, or if you can, you can bend at both knees and try to grab the ankle of, with your hands. Keep the knees closer to each other, close to each other. Don't flare out, just close and engage your glute muscles. From here, inhale to lift your chest and your sides off the mat and into a bow pose. Don't strangle your neck. Gaze down at one point on the floor in front of your mat and toes pointing to the sky. Shoulder blades pinching together and chest open. Inhale, exhale, relax. And from here, gently press both hands underneath the shoulders and press yourself back into a child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide open to max distance and gently set yourself to your heels. Set your hip to your heels. And can be extended out in front of you or behind you, touching your heel. That's your own option. Stay here for five rounds of breath to ground. And child's pose is also a good beneficial pose uh, for counter back bend poses. Gently sit yourself up onto your heels and Gently bring your hip to the right side of your mat and bring your feet out in front of you. And bend your knees and bring your feet toward, uh, closer to your glute and hip distance raise. And sit up on top, open up your chest, shoulders back, and pinching shoulder blades. Always imagine your shoulder blades are pinching each other so that you can widen, you can widen your chest and your collarbones. And from here, just press the sit bones firmly into the mat and we gently lift our feet off the mat and bring the shin bones parallel to the mat and come into this bow pose. Your hands can be uh, underneath your knees to support this, in this bow pose or if you can, if you want, you can bring the hands next to your, your legs, keep the balance, keep the core strength here, and chest open up, shoulders away from your ears, and stay here. And options here, you can also straighten your legs if you can. This is really good for your core strength and pointing your toes. Stay here for three rounds of breath. <laughs> I cannot. And then bring your feet down and soles of your feet together and come into this bum angle pose. <laughs> the heels can be a little bit far away from the uh, from the uh, glutes or closer. This is to stretch the inner thighs and also your hips. And sit up and tall. Your hands can be holding the ankles or interlace your hands and put it under your feet. Sit up and tall. Inhale, exhale. Bring the chest forward, not downward. Chest forward, elbows open. Slowly assist yourself down to bend forward and stop at the point where you feel that you're going to round your lower back and just stay there. 
face forward to the mat in front of you. Slowly sit yourself up, extend both legs out in front of you and sit in Dandasana, staff pose. Which means that your legs and your upper torso are forced, face, are forming 90 degrees angle. And you just sit up and tall, feel like the crown of your head is being pulled by somebody upwards. And your sit bones are pointing and grounding into the mat. From here, inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, like we did just now in a forward bend, bring the chest forward and bend forward to your sides, to your knees. Stop at the point where you feel that your lower back is gonna round. And stay here, and if you can, you can also hold your uh, Hold your feet, hold the soles of your feet with your hands and bring your forehead down to the shins, to your knees. And let's stay in this forward fold, sit seated forward fold for five rounds of breath. The knees can be slightly bent to protect the lower back. Slowly sit yourself, assist yourself with your hands and sit yourself up and tall, back to Dandasana. And bring our hands a few inches behind of us, behind of our hips, and uh, the fingertips are pointing forward. And we are doing a reverse plank pose, which is the upward facing plank pose. And press, press your hands and your heels down towards the mat, lift your hips up. And then the effort is to make sure that your toes are pointing and pressing into the floor. Just do as much as you can. You don't have to touch the toes to the mat if you cannot, but you have to make the effort of doing that. I cannot also uh, completely pressing my toes into the mat, but by doing these efforts, the more practices you do, you will reach there. And also another uh, key point is to lift your hips to the, to the sky. Okay, inhale here, exhale. You can rest your necks on the shoulders or hand it backward. I feel like it's more comfortable like this. And slowly sit yourself down. And let's do a twist pose, a round of twist pose. Uh, bend your right knee and place the right foot outside of your left knee. Sit up and tall, straighten your torso and take an inhale, lift your right arm into the sky. Exhale, twist to the right, bring the left elbow outside of right knee. And come into this twist. Gaze over right shoulder. Twisting poses are really good to relax the back muscles after a few rounds of back bend poses. And it's also a very good pose to um, relax the base of our spine for better flow of prana. I really like twisting poses a lot. And it's also good for balancing out our right and the left side, the body, the legs, even the brain. All right, let's come back to center and do it on the other side. Bring the left sole of the foot on the outside of the right knee. Sit up and tall, shoulders wide, shoulders away, um, collarbones broaden. Lift up the right arm. And twist, exhale to the left side. 
every inhale, every inhalation, lengthen and strengthening your body, every exhalation, twist deeper. Now let's come back to center and gently come onto our back. Let's come into a constructive resting pose uh, by bringing the feet wider, a little bit wider than hip distance and knees together. And let's Stay here for three rounds of rest to prepare ourselves for another few poses before we end our flow today. In and out with the breath, with the prana. Now let's open the knees, bring the feet hip distance wide and press the hand down into the mat and let's do one round of bridge pose. Inhale, strengthen your lower back, exhale, bring the hips up, knees close. Bring the chin to your chest and from here just imagine lifting more and more your hips to the sky and the chin to your chest and your feet towards your glutes and if you can take inhale and you exhale bring the hands to touch the ankle or the heel. Make sure that you, um, you make the effort of keeping your knees closer to each other and engage the glute muscles. Relax the neck and shoulders. Stay here for another long round of breaths. Then we relax and slowly relax your hands outside to the mat. Bring the Adjust your body and bring your hips down to the mat. And bring the knees to the chest for a gentle massage on the lower back. You can swing side to side to have this juicy massage from the mat to your lower back. It's also one of my favorite uh, motions. Soothing. Just let the earth, let the floor massage my body. All right. And from here, raise your feet lifted and let's slowly engage our core muscle. Suck the belly in, engage the core muscle and make sure you support your hips and your lower back with your arms and elbows. And let's bring the hips up to above the shoulders and assist your, with your hand on the lower back, the elbows closer to each other and let's come into this shoulder stand. If you can, pointing the toes to the sky and form into one long line from your shoulders to your toes. Like somebody is pulling you to the sky. And we stay here for five rounds of breaths until we can feel the reverse of our blood flow into our brain. It's a challenging pose. Uh, if you have neck and shoulder issues, I suggest you um, just rest in Shavasana or keep the knees into the chest. And to get out of this pose, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, and slowly assist with the hand, bring the hips down to the mat, 
and then lower back on the mat as well. And let's have another three rounds of breaths in this constructive resting pose. We did great in this flow. Um, this is a chakras balancing flow. So we are targeting almost every part of our body, a little bit here and there to balance out. And now from here, let's again bring the knees up and the foot feet up into 90 degrees, your arms open to form a T shape. And from here, take the inhale in the center, exhale, bring the knees into the left. While maintaining your upper body in this T shape and your right shoulder blades touching the mat. If you want, if you want, you can also assist uh, assist your knees into the ground by pressing them into the ground with your left hand. That is not necessary. Uh, everything is an option according to how your body feels. We'll stay here for five rounds of breath in this spinal twist. When you are ready, inhale, use your core to bring your legs all the way up in the center. Inhale in the center, exhale, bring them all the way to the right side with control and place them down to the floor. back to center and place your legs down to your feet down to the mat and stretch them out long and bring the hands next to the body arms facing up and let's come into our final and most beneficial pose shavasana we'll stay in this shavasana for about two minutes to ground down, wind down to absorb the benefits from the previous poses, from this whole flow, to feel the balance of our seven chakras, to feel the balance of the prana inside of our body, to relax, to absorb, to melt. With your eyes closed, if they're not.
Let's deepen our breaths. Wiggle our toes and fingers. Slowly and gently lifting our body. Come to one side of your body. In a baby pose, baby sleeping pose. Stay here for about two breaths. And gently press yourself up into a seated. Our standing pose. No, our standing pose is actually the standing. However, let's come back into a seated pose. And if you wish to stay in Shavasana longer, you can pause this video and stay. <laughs> However, we are going to finish this class as usual by taking a big inhale, arms sweeping up to the sky. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Namaste. Thank you so, so, so much for being here on the mat with me again. And uh, I hope you enjoy this blow. And there are more blows coming up. And um, yes, I'll see you on the mat in the next class.